With the latest release of ChatGPT4, this has enabled non-tech, no-coders to start developing small custom applications that can help them apply their everyday tasks ones that will usually cost them a couple of hundred to a few thousand pounds. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact commands that I used to create a custom Google Chrome extension to help me perform specific tasks. Hello, my name is Marty Englander. I'm a full-time content creator and affiliate marketer who focuses on automating as many tasks as possible by using tools like ChatGPT in innovative ways and then I simplify them so anyone can quickly start implementing them as well. If you want to learn how to become a ChatGPT Pro, I've left a few links in the description below so you can check out all of my courses and on ChatGPT. To start things off, I needed a little application that would let me either bulk download YouTube thumbnails or download a thumbnail from a single URL I placed into it. So inside ChatGPT4, my first command was write a Google Chrome extension for downloading YouTube thumbnails. So I told it what I wanted it to do. And then I added some further clarification by saying I would like the ability to enter the YouTube channel and the amount of videos to download the thumbnails. I would also like the ability to have an option to enter a single YouTube video link and the extension will download just that thumbnail. So then ChatGPT started doing what ChatGPT does. Now I'm going to repeat these steps and show you exactly how I created everything. So the first thing it's telling us to do is to create a folder on our desktop named this. The fastest way to create all the files and do everything is by downloading this code editor called Bracket. But don't worry, you're not going to need to code because we're going to be copying and pasting everything in. It's just a free lightweight application that's really simple to use. On our desktop, we're going to right click, do new and then folder. We're going to paste in the name it told us to name it. And now we have our folder. Now, once you open up brackets, go ahead and slide it to the right and drop in that folder. We've now loaded brackets with that folder. Next, it's telling us to create four files inside the folder. So we're going to create the first file. So inside brackets, right click, new file, and then paste that name in. Gonna copy the second name, right click, new file, and paste that one in. With the third, paste, and with the fourth, new file, and paste again. We now have our four files. So now it's telling us to open the manifest JSON file and paste the following code in. So we're going to do copy, open the manifest file and paste it in. On your keyboard, press Control and S and that should save the file. Next, it's telling us to create a 48 by 48 pixel icon and save it as icon PNG. Now just go to Google and download an icon from images and then go ahead and add that icon named the way it's telling us inside your folder. Now it's telling us to go to the pop-up HTML file and paste the following code in, which is this. So we'll go ahead and paste. And again, we'll save. Scroll down. It's now telling us to go to the style.css file. So we're going to open that one up, copy the code and paste it in and press save. We're going to scroll down and now it's telling us to open the pop-up.js file and copy the code. So we're going to copy, open up the file and paste it in and press save. Now at this point, I noticed it had cut off and I noticed this because it said implement the functions for downloading, but then it didn't really make sense. So the only real reason it didn't make sense is because ChatGPT just didn't finish off. So in order for ChatGPT to continue where it left off, we just need to enter continue. And it did just that. So now it's telling us to continue to update the popup.js file with the following code. We're just going to copy this code and at the bottom of the document, paste it in and press save. And then finally, it's telling us to remember to place our API key in the area within the document called your API. And then it's given us a list of instructions on how to get that API key. I'm in Google Cloud and I'm going to copy my API key and replace the area where it says your API key because it tells us here to that is the area where the API key goes. So I'm going to highlight and then paste the API key in and save it again. As long as we've done everything correctly, this should now be functioning Google Chrome extension. So we're going to head over to Google Chrome, click on extensions and then manage extension. These are all of my extensions that I have installed. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. On the top right, where it says developer mode, you want to make sure this is enabled. Otherwise you won't be able to install your custom application. Where it says load unpacked, click on it and then select the folder where all our project files are on and do select folder. 
So that has been installed correctly, you can see it's right here. That is a good sign. Now, just before we start using it, let's go ahead, click the extension icon again, scroll down and pin that extension to our taskbar. So let's go ahead and just click the icon and see what it shows. So it shows an input type with a dropdown of channel or video, shows a single URL field and a video count. Looks good to me. So let's start off with a single video, okay? So I'm going to grab a URL link, so copy link address of a video. I'm going to change the input type to video. And what's interesting is that this is grayed out. Now, if you remember, I wanted the ability to just download a single video. So it's quite good that this has been grayed out. We're going to paste that URL in and click download. And what do you have it? In the bottom left, it's downloaded the image. That's insane. Now, what about the channel URL? So let's go ahead and go to my channel. We're going to, gr we're going to grab the URL and then we're going to click on the icon again. The input type is channel, paste this in, and let's say we want five thumbnails to be downloaded. So let's click download thumbnails. And you can see at the bottom of my screen, we have five thumbnails. So let's click on this. Let's click on this one and this one and this one and this one. So it's downloaded five thumbnails for us. And overall, it's working the way I asked it to. If you want to fine tune it, you just go back to ChatGPT and you tell it exactly what you want it to do. You update the files and repeat the process. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got any questions, drop them below.